<laughs> hey, everyone out there in the internet land. Welcome to twitch.tv slash d and Beyond. We have one hour. We're playing role play roulette. We have an amazing cast of characters that we're going to just jump in because I may have um, set them up for something really awesome. So if you guys are all ready to start, we will introduce your characters as you are in the scene. So I'm going to start by describing the scene. You guys have been invited to the Elf Song Tavern in Baldur's Gate. You're in the back room of this tavern. It's, a <laughs> it's not that very big of a room. There's one single light hanging. There's a wind making it dangle for some reason. And it's casting like really stark light on you guys. There's a table in the middle, chairs on the outside. Tarina is sitting there, very looking at all of you. She's got big curly hair drunk pirate lady, and she's looking at all of you, wants to tell you about a super sweet score she found. It's worth millions of gold pieces. So we're going to start at the end and go around and explain uh, your name, race, class, your specialization in this heist, and what you're doing and how you're in the room. Right, so uh, my name's Slobnoz. I'm a full-blooded orc. I am a wizard of the war variety. And obviously, I'm the brains of the operation. Because, I mean, look at me, really. I've got this just coat that is way too small for me, but I think it's perfect. And it kind of hangs down a little bit. My gut's a little big, but I'm working on it. And uh, my shirt's a little open in the bottom. And, uh, but don't tell me. I, I, I know it's there. Um, and I'm kind of leaning back as I'm, I'm looking at... Uh, at uh, Tarina and uh, kind of waiting on the score because I want to know, start, start working my brain around what, what exactly is going on. So I'm leaning over and kind of like, I'm the reason that it's swaying because I keep hitting it with my head and that's why the thing is swaying. <laughs> it's not really a wind. Uh, and I'm just, you know, so that's what I'm doing. Cool. Playing Zarin Bear Herder. And uh, he's a seven foot tall Goliath, rogue assassin. He's the quiet guy. <laughs> and he has swagger as he walks up to the bar wearing fancy silks and leather armor, and orders the finest elven wine with uh, his rapier that looks kind of dainty, dangling from his side. The herding, the herding bears is, is no longer a challenge for him and sneaking up on so he needs something a little bit bigger to do. Pretty awesome, because this little bar that's on the side, there's nobody bartending it, so you order to nobody standing there. But all the alcohol is sitting right in front of you. Mm, but it's a fancy elven bar, so does it just float over when you place your order? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I see, it's one of those kind of places, and I hop over the bar and pour my own. Cool, so you're in the back of the room, there's a bar. On the other side of the bar, yeah. Yeah, all right. You see in the middle of the room this broad, tall, war-forged druid, land of shepherd, standing unmoving, right under the spotlight on the table his name is pog <laughs> and he is the destruction in this heist <laughs> nice. so you're standing in the middle of the room in the middle of the room is a table so you're yes. standing on the, <laughs> in the middle of the yes. table the, the table looming. was in my way <laughs> looming over everybody yes i will destroy the table <laughs> awesome so i'm uh, i'm tween warrior I'm a forest gnome barbarian, as you are. Um, I'm, so I think that she, if she's a female. <laughs> um, so I think that he's right next to the door. Uh, she's right next to the door. <laughs> it's gonna take a second, sorry. <laughs> so, uh, she's right next to the door. She's taking her javelin, and she's actually wedged it between, so nobody's coming in unless I let him in. Awesome. All right, and she is completely prepared to destroy whatever comes through that door, because nothing ever goes as, uh, according to plan. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I, I'm Timna, the turtle cleric, who is hunched over next to Tarina, trying to look as small as possible, drinking a drink with an oversized mace hanging from my belt. And I'm the persuasive one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I am standing there with a, a shiny, friendly badge that says, Hi, I'm Lidfira. Uh, I am, uh, my hind legs are standing there kicking up a jaunty 
dance as much as I can in this very crowded, would you scoot over, please? <laughs> it's very crowded in here. Um, and I am very glam as a male centaur. Um, nice braids happening. Maybe a little glitter in the beard. It's a good look. Uh, and I am your party face. I am a College of Glamour bard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> face uh, and legs. <laughs> <laughs> Four of them. Count them. One, two, three. <laughs> From behind the bar, a skull full of whiskey pops up as these two little clawed hands appear. And then I <laughs> pop up over the bar a cobalt paladin. Uh, my name is Rolman. And I stand on the bar uh, and I start to profess to all of you, as I have many times before in my now somewhat inebriated stupor, I wasn't always like this. I was once a mighty gold dragon, but my greed had caused me to fancy a wizard who worshipped Tiamat, and she has reduced me to this, to this. And I grab the <laughs> Goliath by the, uh, the lapels of his coat, and I force him to look at me to know my sorrow. Shh, there, there. It's okay, Roman. No. One day, Thank one day. You. Thank you. This is like the 17th time I've heard this damn story. Oh. Well, listen, I'm, it's important. My role is distraction. That's what I do. <laughs> it's a nice story. Thank you. I kind of feel like you're the insecure one of the group. What? How dare you? Dragons are bold. We know nothing of your mortal insecurities. Can you what? prove you're a dragon in any way, shape, or form? Uh, I any ancestors? Any art? Has yes, anyone ever sung a song about you? Yes, yes. Well, you know, uh, you know the song about Clouth. There's like a verse in there that's about, uh, hey, there's there was this dragon who Clouth's afraid of. Yada yada. That's, that's you. Me. That's me. That's not him. That's me. Roll <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, that's my full name. The last time this came up, there was bloodshed. We should stop the Wait, conversation all right, all right. now. All right, Tina, what you got for us this time? You guys are you're talking and you hear, and she starts, oh god, and she tumbles back and falls on the ground, hops up. Her ale has not. Spilled a drop. <laughs> she grabs a chair and goes, You guys, you guys talk a lot. Well, I've got a huge score for you. I don't know where this accent came from. <laughs> but there is a legendary book, a book of, it's called the Book of Ever Story. It's like a bag of holding. This tome holds endless pages of collected stories worth millions of gold pieces. And it, the guy that has it, is the Baron Ezekiel Tarje. His estate is just on the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. He lives in a three-story mansion, guarded by hellhounds and thugs. It's inside there in the basement. Um, but I found the way in. There's a, uh, there is a fight, a fight club in his basement. And all these nobles come in. And that is a perfect time for you to go in when there's a whole bunch of people going in and out. I have more information. Get your pens out. <laughs> You're going to need this information. It's a three-story. Okay. Um, when you get there, there's a Zen garden, and there's like a big loop driveway, and then there's manicured bushes. And on the sides, there's big trees that go up to the top floors, three floors. And then uh, there's a pool and barbecue out back. And then the basement has the thing. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> Pool and barbecue. Copy that. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Can we get our muscle entered in this fight club? Uh, and uh, I look to the, to the kobold <laughs> and the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was my idea. So, so basically what we do is we, we go in under, under ruse of, of we get you guys in in the fight club. And when, when they're all like betting and you guys are messing stuff up, you know, doing what you do. Uh, that's when we go in, maybe go up the tree, or maybe, you know, you turn it, whatever you do with whatever you do. I don't, still don't know how it works. Weird. Uh, uh, I, I can be I the healer. <laughs> there are people with bruises in oh, the yeah, yeah, club. Could. Also, you know, you could totally just, like, start talking, and, like, three days later, when you're done, then maybe we can, you know, <laughs> we, we'll be in and out. Put them all to sleep. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Well, that'd be interesting, but um, it's a shifter tabaxi fight club. 
Are you any of your shifters are tabaxis? Mm. I could be. That's oddly specific. <laughs> I have been shape shifted, so in a way, <laughs> you might say I am a shifter. Right. I uh, don't think that's going to qualify. <laughs> Right, so that, that plans out the window. Your plans are too complicated. This is what we do. We go to the place and we smash into the ground, into the basement. Job done. Well, do, oh, I, just, don't but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the basement's where the, where the fight club is, right? I, right. Not, not the book. I, well, yes. I suppose that I, I could try and disguise myself. <laughs> I am fairly good at that. You could be too. You could be a shifter in the front <laughs> and a tabaxi in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Business is in the front, party in the back. There you go. Um, so it's being held in a vault behind a throne in the basement where the fight club is. What did I say? There are two keys that open the vault. And the vault is guarded by an orc lady. I think it's his, like, right-hand woman. So, who's got the keys? Yeah. I, I didn't find that out. Mm -hmm. That is our job. Do we need the keys? That's a very good point. We don't need keys. Yes. We just punch yeah. through the safe. All right, that, that's plan B. Or <laughs> Zarin, can you pick the lock? That, that was my other, that was I've been a. known to do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, but I prefer but to do well, my way through but, things. Uh, the, do you know if the, the locks are like on like one side here and one side there, or are they like on top of each other? On top of each other. Okay. So you may have to. Do have to be? And there's a big wheel in the middle of the big. door. So. Could be upstairs. The keys. We can go look for the keys first before we try to. Because if we get down there and we can't get in, then we're screwed. We only have an hour. Yeah, maybe we go into the garden. You got 40 we minutes. go up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> go in the top and work our way down. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. Go tree. Go top. Work our way down. Worst case scenario, we beat the shit. <laughs> shifters, <laughs> we need the shifters. Beat the shifters. Beat the shifters. Yeah. 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 Beat the ship out of them. <laughs> and then we get in. Yes? I, I think so. It, that sounds like... Uh, that's then let us go to let battle. Go. Yes. Let's do it. Fight club. <laughs> right, so where is this place at? Uh, I have a teleport. Perfect. That is so I have a button. Convenient. It'll take you right to I the grounds. I love buttons that take me go. And a big door opens up, a big portal door. I grab my bagpipes and charge through. <laughs> oh I uh, strive for <laughs> Why do you always assume that I can pick locks and find traps and do things like this? <laughs> it's in your job description. <laughs> <laughs> it's why That's we really what you do together. Uh, every time. It's the only reason we invite you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're quite dapper, but... Fine. Also, it's really Nimble amusing fingers. to watch you with your big hands use those little long picks to get them out. It's kind of fun. It's also quite impressive to watch. It's very impressive. You're standing at the other <laughs> side with your bagpipes. Um, <laughs> in front of you is a large hedge that seems to have been put there to hide you from everything else that's about to happen. Ooh, oh but nice. nobody else has walked through the portal. Uh, I look for this big tree that we're supposed to climb up. And I go through the portal. I, I walk through the portal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I grab my shield and plod after them with a knowing sigh that I'm going to have to get in the way. Yeah, I, I then come back and push the portal through <laughs> before it closes. <laughs> so essentially, uh, you all make it through this portal. Nice. Mm -hmm. And in front of you is a hedge. And you all stick your heads out to go see this massive estate in front of you. And basically... Uh, you're kind of off to the side. You see carriages coming through, and it's like it's like a big fancy gala-looking thing. People like in gowns and fancy dress are walking in. Um, you see that there is a big palm. Uh, there palm tr there's palm trees. <laughs> there is now palm trees on the side <laughs> of this building. That um, there's three of them that go to a balcony. Mm. You would like is to it, go that is way. it being is it within I I mean could people see it if they're coming in I mean if somebody's gonna try to crawl up the palm tree what kind of protection do they have from people coming in there's three palm trees right? they're next to each other uh-huh but yeah that's about it mm. so it's just smack dab in the middle of everyone yeah so you've got th but it's a really big house right okay. so it's like if it's this big their entrance is like right here. Mm -hmm. So th it's also long. So that if you can make it over there, perhaps that's a, you can hide by just by being on that side. So there's people everywhere? Roll me a perception check. Oh boy. 
So just upon first look, you see that there's people getting out of carriages and going into the front. 19. 19, you see that there are patrols, and there are three guards and two hellhounds with them. Whoa. And they seem to be moving pretty fast around. Fear not, everybody, for I am a druid. I cast Pass Without Trace, mm. and I walk right through. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone uh, within my 30 feet also has it. Mm. Plus 10 bonus to your dexterity stealth checks. Nice. Mm. Uh, I, I, so we sneak up to the tree, we, we climb up, and we get on that balcony. Yes. Cool. So, uh, but we have to do it. T we have to time it with yeah. the guards, right? right? And or create a diversion. Uh, I can cast fog cloud around the trees. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I yeah. feel like they're gonna that's see gonna that. That's gonna be kind of the big cloud of fog. What so about fog cloud around around the people? Like, so they just like start, this mist starts to come out, and and then like so the, they're all obscured, but we're not. I grab the orc and punch him. <laughs> <laughs> and I start creating a diversion. Oh, we what did you say it. about my mother? Gosh. That's not what I was planning. Yeah, <laughs> I draw my weapon and he, I, I attack. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you guys are more than welcome to fight. Uh, you're still by the hedge, so <laughs> you're very far away. And I get closer from I, I roll him in the, the view of everyone. Uh, there is a carriage coming by. Uh, the carriage cannot tell we are here. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> 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 You're like I put in the combat and a fog bank, and <laughs> nobody can see us. It's awesome. It's so, um, you a carriage is coming up. So, should you fight right now, that'd be the only thing that could see you. Okay, we'll wait. We're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna wait until we our distraction you, makes you more. Go May I raise you go to punch me. Point. Okay. Yes. We are not an inconspicuous group. We are now. However. We are quite dapper, and charming, and lovely. Perhaps we could just walk in. I could try that. Are you just saying that because you're a terrible climber? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I would like to see you try to climb a palm tree. <laughs> I, I climb a tree. Stamp, stamp. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yes. Toss. <laughs> I'm a terrible climber. <laughs> well, well, we are, Thank you. We are, time is of the essence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, like, as you go to punch, you're like, oh, Toween, Toween, oh, calm down. I, I promise we'll cause a distraction very soon. Okay. But, but you forget that this is what I do. Mm -hmm. But it's what? not what we do. <laughs> but I can distract. Mm -hmm. for okay. Yes. Oh, good. So, uh, we never split the party, but maybe we split the party. <laughs> yeah, absolutely split the party this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, because I think that if you use your abilities to get in, with the portal, you guys get downstairs and, and start mm -hmm. laying heavy bets and being distracting that way. Mm -hmm. And then we'll we go can go up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Wait, which which right. group am I, am I in? Uh, you come with us because we spell. need you close because you, 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 you make us sneaky. I'm very sneaky. I'll go up as a meat shield with them. You stay with the meat shield with them. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Yeah, you all, I you climb into your shell if that's <laughs> you, you can ride on top <laughs> of right, the right, shell. Right. Abs, you will look so majestic riding <laughs> on top of a plodding along portal. I remember when I used to get this high with my wings. <laughs> it's brilliant. <No. laughs> we need to split the party immediately. <laughs> all right, the party has officially been split. We will start with the distraction. The distraction moves forward. I and reach into my pack and I pull out a top hat. And I pull out a cane. Oh <laughs> and using my abilities as a College of Glamour bard, mm -hmm. I will use my uh, enthralling performance. Ooh. Um, and a mantle of inspiration to get Like a there. dressage entry? I'm going to tap dance. Because <laughs> It's great with two legs, but you should see it with four. Backed up by bagpipe. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Riding a turtle. <laughs> That's so it's very good. Distracting. I knew there was a reason he brought the bagpipe. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. is the distraction for a reason. So is it just the three of you? I think so. I, I think believe so. so. Okay. Yes. So the three of you walk up, and as you walk up, the crowd <gasps> murmurs, murmur, murmur, murmur. Murmur. murmur, 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 murmur. And they part murmur. ways and let you through. At what point? Oh, so. There's the, the, all the carriages and the people walking up the stairs. 
Uh, it's like a long staircase. It kind of goes like this. And then there's an entry with tall doors that are open. At what point do you start tap dancing? <laughs> and when I find a good clearing, um, where I think the floor has a nice resonance, <laughs> I'll start kind of softly and start to gain some attention. Roll performance. Five, okay. six, five, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> because you are being helped with bagpipes. That's right. And can I also use thaumaturgy to start shaking the ground as she really hits the climax oh. of her tap? Oh, so that's yeah. A so go ahead and roll three D, uh, D20s because you now have triple settee and advantage. So it is 26 <laughs> is the best I got, right? <laughs> this is, who is the tap dancer that does stairs? Fred Astaire, Gene, Gene Kelly. <laughs> okay. You do this most. Actually, you narrate what this looks like. Okay. Um... It's As you're entering, the st going. Have up you ever the seen the Nicholas Brothers do the stair oh, yes. act? Mm -hmm. It's like that. <laughs> you're both brothers. <laughs> I am both brothers. <laughs> I'm doing flips when they jump <laughs> over <laughs> each other <laughs> and back down. Yes. Well, like a slinky. <laughs> So it's, good. Like it's, it's a little enthralling. Yeah. Exactly. And just perfectly in time to the bagpipes. Mm -hmm. So it starts out a little bit like an Irish jig, <laughs> and then it, uh, it escalates. Exactly. It's so good, we forget to go. <laughs> 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 We're mesmerized by the majestic <laughs> performance. Okay, as you do that, what are the two of you doing to amplify this situation? Like, what does this look like? Mm. And so anything watching this is going to need to make a wisdom save or get They don't charmed. need to make a save. <laughs> <laughs> You're <Done>. amazing. <laughs> no one has ever, no one ever has ever seen that. <laughs> 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 and I am on the turtle's like shoulders, but you know how they're broad because of the shell. So I'm playing the bagpipes while I'm trying to kick out my legs, uh, very poorly mirroring. Like this? Yes, yeah, oh, exactly. This is exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, sort of in time with your taps. So yeah, that's awesome. how I'm aiding. What does it look like as you're as you finish this performance? How do you land it? So it, it turns into the the one leg behind the other thing, and it's it's like and then going into the wings and doing you know both feet at, <laughs> all four at once, and it's this rapid fire, and <laughs> and the entire crowd that's walking in just oh, yeah, bravo, yeah, yeah. 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 and the the two um, people at the door with. Um, <laughs> with one of those, I don't Registered. know words. I don't know words anymore. Guest list. Yeah. Guest list. They are. They applaud, and you do that as you walk backwards <laughs> into this, and you've completely distracted everybody. The, yes. the three of were, you are inside. Were the guards at all distracted during um, that hoopla? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> um, at disadvantage, they rolled a one. Ooh. Nice. So you guys, you're going to have to roll me um, d20s for stealth. Kay. And the only way you're going to fail this is if you roll a one. Shut the front door, <laughs> Lillard. Shut the front crit. <laughs> wait, wait, is it stealth? We got you one get crit. Yeah. You get a plus 10. Yep. 28. <laughs> uh, so that's a 28. Stealth? Can All I right. just save my crit for when I have a dancing centaur? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so you guys are so badass, you just... Missing your way through, just going along hedges, and in front of you are three trees. I'm sorry, they're palm <laughs> trees. Um, and you see a balcony. You do smell barbecue coming from the back. Just saying. Oh, this <laughs> good. Or, uh, who's who's like really good at climbing? I'm pretty good. I. I can bring the tree to us. Do you think we can just really? get some chicken? It's a bit much. <laughs> Let's just try climbing. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop a rope down. I'm gonna tie a rope. I'm gonna drop it down. So that way it's easier yeah. to climb up. Is it a strong rope? It's pretty, I mean, uh, maybe. I All could, right. I could boost you if you like. Yeah, yeah. You've already made it up to the top. <laughs> okay, I'm at the top. And I've thrown down a rope. Oh, and I'm, as I, as I'm like doing this, <laughs> the rope just goes <laughs> I'm rolling around in the bed, waiting for you to come. Planned it that way the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to climb up the rope that he drops down. All right. But are you sure there isn't time to grab some barbecue chicken? It smells really good. Now is the time to fight or, or climb a tree. I think. Uh, all right. Yeah. Then chicken? Yes. All right. Climb the rope. I will go last because I don't know if this rope will hold me. I will also climb. 
since time is of the essence, you magically <laughs> yes. fly up I there. I druid my way up there somehow. Um, you're lying in this bed, and it is the most opulent. Oh yeah, decadent. it is like so amazing. And I'm in my tiny little oh, gnome yes. form. You grab the duvet, it's and so you're good. just like in this down comfort good. wonderfulness. It's like those really ornate, ridiculous Vegas, like super penthouse suites. Amazing. Yeah, there's a basketball court in the bedroom. It's really <laughs> weird. Um, and there is a door. Good. Um, Opulence in a door. I will take the, the door out of the room. I'll grab my javelin, and again, I'll pry it in and make sure nobody's going to come in on us and I'll let them search the room. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to start looking for a key, um, just like in like, like obvious places. I'm going to look under the bed <laughs> or like in between <laughs> the mattresses. Cool. Uh, I will assist him. Awesome. The two of you triple are... Triple assist. Triple assist. Everyone's just tossing things up. Are you being clean about it, or are you just chaos? Uh, we're tossing the room. Oh, it's totally tossing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you definitely get triple advantage. All right. Go all right. for it. So I rolled one all This is not a real rule, guys. Um, <laughs> natural 20. <laughs> a natural a 20. A natural 20. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> the key finds On you. On the bed, <laughs> I leave a big Z with my uh, right here. <laughs> Feathers. What is Z? <laughs> Everywhere. Is that your name? It's my, it's my initials there. Wow. It's Behind amazing. a very large painting of a grizzled man in a very nice suit, is a, a vault, a small little safe. Is this the vault we were see, looking for? See, come here. See, see if we can, uh, we get, well, what, that wasn't the basement. It's not the basement, but maybe this has a key in it. Is it a safe with the key, with the key for to the, the other safe? Key. <laughs> yeah, okay. that totally makes I sense. I understand. <laughs> I, will, I will take a look at it and pull out my thieves' tools. All right. You take it out. That's going to be a 12. Your Good. thieves' tools break. Oh, I cast I mending upon them. They unbreak. Yes! <laughs> oh, great. That was my favorite ones. <laughs> Since I broke them last. Do do? I don't think it's going to open. This is made really well. <laughs> There's clearly a trap right. inside. What is Plan it made B. Of? It's made of metal. Mm. I heat the metal. <gasps> Very nice. Roll mm. Arcana. That's good. Ooh, yeah. 16. Yeah, yeah, you did. It melts and falls to the floor, gooey and burning, mm -hmm. and burning, and burning through the carpet, burning through the wood. I'm sure it's burning. Fine. No, take wood. No, wait. It's wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I would grab like a, 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 a pitcher from, of water next to the bed uh -huh. and immediately try to cool it off. Uh, there's always a pitcher of water next to the there's bed. There's always. <laughs> it's so funny. A, and, and or I'll grab something to stop it from going through and down into the next level. What would you grab? I will grab my javelin that's <laughs> in place and immediately start to like pry it up and move. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You're javelin and water and <laughs> Yes, and like anything I can. I don't want it going right. through. All right. Good save. That could have been a shortcut to the vault. Well, okay, fair enough. You, s you feel like had it burned any further, yeah. it would have gone straight through. <laughs> You're welcome is what I think. Good thinking. Yeah, yeah. And there it is right in front of you. A key, a large key. That has a, the word vault on the side. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. Man, this could be a trap. We are so good. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like as the brains of the operation, you should hold this. I, I will take the key. Cool. I'll put it in my pouch. All right. Where to next, you um, four? As, as we get to go, I actually am like, all right, things could start getting hairier, and I cast mage armor on myself. Cool. Well, is well. there a laundry chute? Good question. <laughs> no. Specific <Yeah>. question. <laughs> Uh, are we on the third floor? Yes, you okay. are. So I think maybe we make our way, continue down. Can anyone tap dance? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. All right, we're screwed. I have <laughs> really big feet. Does that help? <sighs> All right, let's just w let's tell them we got lost. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, told, I'm, who's I'm not so going to believe us? What's my persuasion? Oh, yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, it's not it's good. not good, no. Oh. Okay, so are you guys staying in the room or are you moving down? We're moving down. We're moving down. down. You open the door. And in front of you is a hallway, stairs, and another door that smells of lavender and sage and orange blossom. And we're going to pause there. We're going to go to you guys. You back up. Mm -hmm. And the two of you are on top, one on the other. You are there. And they are, can fall back in, and people are starting to walk around. Somebody passes in front of you with champagne glasses, 
full of champagne. Mm. I'd snag one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd snag another for you. Daintily hold it. <laughs> Uh, I stride up to the people with the guest list. Mm -hmm. If it's not obvious by now, we are the entertainment. <laughs> 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 Mr. Tarjay asked us to be here and put on a show for all of his guests. Oh, um, um, yeah, that's going to be in the living room. Thank you. Could you please direct us to the living room? There. They blink and they turn you. <laughs> 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 and you see a large living room. Next, you're in the, you're in the foyer. Mm -hmm. And next to you is this large living room. It's big, open, people are milling about. It's a bunch of couches, a bar. Yes, thank also. you. Uh, I want to look around to see if there's any sort of <laughs> obvious stairs down or entrance to this uh, basement where the fight club is happening. You notice next to the fireplace as you guys kind of walk mm -hmm. in to the right, there looks like a secret door that people are going up and down. Mm. We sh should we maybe proceed to entertain the people downstairs? I'm always here to entertain. <laughs> mm. Let's go. <laughs> uh, sure. So uh, does it look like like, is there anybody stopping people from going up and down the steps, or is nope. it just great? <laughs> Who goes first? Forward, Steed. <laughs> we must go. We've been through this. <laughs> I am a bit suspicious of this area. Uh -huh. So just to, to give us a nice entrance, I cast Fairy Fire. Ooh. Everything illuminates in a sparkly, shimmery, okay. very me glow. What color? I think it's like a shimmery red. Ooh. Nice. Everyone's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Did anything invisible or hidden illuminate? Nope. Excellent. Seems pretty normal up here. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, convincing. <laughs> standing with my back to the door, looking as inconspicuous as a turtle can, <laughs> <laughs> I cast Thaumaturgy to try and pop the door open. The door's already open. Yeah. Oh, the secret door? Well, yeah. I missed that part. People are going up and down. It's just like propped open. You do see that there are people. So this living room area has uh, a balcony over it. Mm -hmm. So the foyer and then the living room separated by a wall that has a balcony and the foyer has stairs that go up. And so there's like this and there's a kitchen over here, but there's still a balcony. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's that scene. Cool. So who goes first? I'll go down. Shield at the ready. Yeah. On the, t on the top. Yeah, definitely. Right. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to stack this. and. Uh, How tall are you? Uh, about six and a half feet. Yeah. Funny thing. The both of you will not fit uh, wow. on top of each other. I will unstack, and I will go first. <laughs> I am the meat shield, after all. So, uh, And nothing scares me at all. But stay close, just in case. I have my. Do you want to hide behind my shield? Yes, I would love that. that. <laughs> Thank you. And I've got my mace at the. Room. Yeah, and we're Everyone's creeping along. Everyone's looking at you guys. You're now com totally out of place. <laughs> <laughs> As people are trying to like scoop. Excuse me. Excuse mm -hmm. me, sir. Excuse me. We are the entertainment, <laughs> and I use thaumaturgy again to make things flames flicker and all oh. of that. Mm -hmm. Pyrotechnics, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> oh, okay. And in this enclosed space, I will play my bagpipes to aid this performance oh of thaumaturgy. God. Awesome. Yes. Uh, my dear, dear centaur friend. Yes. <laughs> please explain to me the physics of a horse walking <laughs> through a small hidden door um, down. It's I've never seen a horse extraordinarily uncomfortable. <laughs> it's about this, Steve. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. it's, it's cautious, uh, one foot in front of the other as much as I can. Um, roll me a deck save. Okay. Uh, 18. Man, those tap dancing feet really <laughs> got, you got those like fine it's motor Years of ballet <laughs> practice, you built those muscles. You guys make your way down 
and in front of you is just it's dark and dingy it looks like a dungeon mm -hmm. and there's a there's like a fenced off area it's like an mma fighting like situation there's a bunch of cages uh with some shifters and there's cages over here with um the tabaxi there's a bar on one end and then you see through the fence that there is a man he looks drunk he's got a big turkey leg and he's like Rah! and a throne and uh mm. then there to the right of him is a door and in front of that door is uh, a lady in a lady. suit Sure. That's good. That's pretty It's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> is she an orc? Orc lady? That's the one. Okay. All right. She has really nice earrings. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Diamond earrings. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And that's gold dragons eat diamonds. Maybe we could get those <laughs> for me. Because I am a gold dragon, as I have said <laughs> to you many times before. Are you sure, <laughs> though, your current digestive system can... I'm positive. I'm positive, yes. Do you remember the last time? I d listen, we went to the doctor and worked yeah. it out. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Oh. Okay. okay. And that's where we're going to pause with you guys. The four of you are standing um, in this hall, and you see the staircase that goes down to the second floor, and there's a door to your right. And then the lavender smells coming from it. Do we by chance see the flickering of fairy fire uh, over the rail? Mm. Roll me a perception check. That's a um, eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do not. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm just turning you down. Everything <laughs> you say, no. it's like, no. no. Let me try. <laughs> right, so I think we should totally check out this lavender room. Quickly, but, yes, quickly. Yeah. But there's only an hour. Go, go, go. So here we go. So I'm going to... You open it up, yep. and it's a beautiful spa bathroom. And there is a balcony. And as you walk over, you see a large pool um, right underneath it. That's where we jump. When we're escaping, we <laughs> jump into that pool. <laughs> Going around the room, does it look like this could be the woman that we heard about at the door in protecting this, the door downstairs? Insight. Uh, yeah. I yeah, mean, right there was, a, we talk, they talk, she said something the, about the a woman protecting it. Yeah. Yeah. 16 plus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Three. It definitely has a feminine touch. What okay. Looking around real quick, anything personal, any letters, any jewelry, looking around, trying to scrounge for something that may have a personal value. Investigation. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. Um, you're like, there's something here. And you're looking around. Leverage and is what under I'm looking for. The yeah, sink, yeah, yeah. You find something hidden, and it's a pile of letters. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Wrapped in a uh, pink bow. Okay. As we start to head down, because we're in a rush, yep. I start, I, I hand it to somebody way smarter that can read. <laughs> I hand it, <laughs> <Not> <laughs> him, <not laughs> him. I hand it to the druid, not him. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I'll take those back. Uh, <laughs> and see if we can find some kind of leverage. If we can get a name or something, we've been sent by so-and-so, he wants to meet you outside, she wants to meet you outside. And that way, I, we could, you know, the, maybe there's a way in that transaction that we can get through that door. I think I'm going to hand this to you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe they have sentimental value, and we just threaten to burn them. Oh. I, I, that, I, yes, I, that I like could, that. I think that, that mm. may, let's see what they are. If they're from, like, a dead parent or something. Yeah. That I'm going to quickly, like, thumb through them. Yeah. yeah. You thumb through them. she's an orc, right? Oh. Oh, darling, Margaret. I hate having to keep this love affair a secret. I, your darling Tarjay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, actually. Tar oh, Tarjay uh, is my, the... Your, your darling uh, Ezekiel. Oh, um, Zeke. That A.K.A. Is the guy. Easy. <laughs> A.K.A. Easy. <laughs> It's super gross. <laughs> <laughs> but so they have a love affair. So yeah, so it so looks like it's a love affair. Got oh it. yeah. Uh, so Ooh, that's I'll, good. I'll, I'll relay lay that as as I'm reading through. I'm like, oh, your love affair. Yeah, and oh. there's like lipstick marks, but they're not nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is this? You know, like. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My kind of lady. <laughs> so this is what we call leverage. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's leverage. Good, good right? fight. So uh, let's make our way to the second floor. Yes. Okay. On our way down. We come up with a plan, which is to use the leverage. Go, yeah, but go to her and say, Ezekiel. Easy. Easy. Wants to make your love public. 
and is making an announcement upstairs. Is ma- he, I, well, he's, yes. down, he's, he's downstairs, though. I know. Isn't that I, him on the thing? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm very confused right now. I am too. I, so, I will allow this go. metagaming, yes. So, <laughs> no, oh, yeah, that's right. No, no, that's no, fine. No, 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 it's, no, it's, no, no We got 20 go minutes. Okay, so. yeah, that's good. <laughs> but let, but he, uh, he's going to ask her to maybe, maybe, ding, 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 ding. He's going to ask her to marry you. Right. Come forward, come forward. I know you that both have something to share. Let's just go. Yeah, yeah, we got to yeah. find that second key. What? Okay. There's a second key? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so you guys are Making whispering as floor. you're walking down. Yep. You see the balconies that connect, and then you see the staircase. You make your way down the staircase. So down. there's no rooms on the second floor? It's just a balcony? There are rooms, but you make it downstairs. <laughs> <Got> it. <laughs> yeah. we, we notice yeah. not, not, yeah, important. not important. They not don't important. smell of they lemon. They don't smell of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walk down. Everyone's mulling about. They do look at you a little funny. You see that some of the people, like the wait staff, they're looking at you we very strange. We still have strange. Pass Without I Trace. Just, I we just still have Pass don't. Without Trace. <laughs> uh, nobody sneaky. does anything. <laughs> I, grab a, I grab a champagne like I'm supposed to be here. If you act like you're supposed to be here, no one will question you. <laughs> it's not working for you. <laughs> 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 me, just pinky out. Mm, I saw that once. <laughs> <laughs> the centaur does it all the time. <laughs> Zarin should fit right in. He's dressed like the man in black. He's the like Princess he Bride. So. Oh, cool. Wesley. Yeah, you guys are totally fine, and you make your way down the stairs. Mm-hmm. Um, We're the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and you bump into your friends boom, 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 at the bottom of the stairs. We catch them up. We got one key yeah, and a, a bundle of leverage. Mm. <laughs> Um, we need another key and a distraction again. Well, maybe EZ has the other key, so yeah, we just... We, like, but yeah. Easy has it, so it, so question. So the guy that was on the throne that we can now see is that Zeke. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he may have the other key on him. Yeah, and we fill them in on our plan of like maybe like getting yeah. the proposal and all that. I could just recommend that that's the way we go. I th- I think we could make him our friend quite easily. Just to give how how how. how? Well, I'm quite charming. We're entertaining. <laughs> As you say that, a large shifter smacks and dents the fence in front of you and just, and you see this tabaxi just like all steroided out, just like, and yeah, and the audience, rah, and you see money getting exchanged everywhere. We have the one key. Maybe Z here can pick the second lock while we unlock the first one. Mm-hmm. That's a good try. And then, and then we can go in all that, and then maybe that'll get us in, and then we can get out. Uh, we, we saw a pretty good way out, up, and then out. But and we have to get past her. That's the thing. That's the distraction. Well, once that, that hap goes off, we do the announcement of, hey, proposal, and uh, she comes up, and then that's what... Uh, do you want him to actually propose? Do you sure. Know? Why not? Let's see what we can do. Someone smacked you on that butt. Yeah. And there's a human on the other side, this big dude, and he's just like... I hate toxic masculinity, <laughs> and I jump at him, <laughs> short sword drawn, and I, I say, distra- you wanted a distraction, right? And now I'm just pummeling this guy. I know exactly what yeah. you're doing, and I'm like, go time! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say about my mama? And I turn around and punch somebody. Uh, and using that, I, we grab we Z, and we yeah. make our way to the vault. Okay, so who's fighting right now? Please raise your I hand. I think I'm fighting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, this is good. So uh, I did say that in jest. I'm actually going to cover your six. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So the four of you go in, and there's, like, this big ruckus. And you do see the guy on the throne with his, his turkey leg, and he's like, Whoa. and he yells something in some language, and a bunch of people are, like, trying to go over there to break it up, and then... Um, you see other people go in to change out who's going to be fighting. And then you three head over to the uh, orc lady. Yep. And she's in this very smart suit. Why don't you uh, talk to her and distract her? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going to walk up and I'm going to uh, kind of go, um, Margaret, right? Who are you? <laughs> Name Slobnose, but that's not what's important. I stab her in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Distraction. Roll to attack. I do not meant? know what just yeah. happened. <laughs> so I will invoke my assassinate ability. He did his job. <laughs> 
Well, 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 I rolled a one proposal. and a two. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Wait, then, then. You rolled a two? And a one, a one and, and a two. One and, and a two. Okay. So um, I have this rule, and we're going to use it because this is so ridiculous. Um, on my tables, usually, if you roll a one and you're attacking, you have to roll your damage, uh -huh. and you have to tell everyone how you hit yourself. <laughs> oh. well, so do that. Just do it. All of my damage? I do a lot yep, of that. all of your damage. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> That's so... <laughs> so anybody know where to get another uh, lucky so, uh, guy? <laughs> Oh my oh goodness. No. <laughs> it was a great plan, I'm telling you. Um, a great plan. That is uh, 28 points of damage. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I just like swing at the back of her head, and it's a rapier you're supposed to stab, apparently. <laughs> and just like catch myself oh in no. the back, and I go down. <laughs> <laughs> so she's talking to you. And she hears a thump behind her. <laughs> By the way, I'm behind you. I'm going to roll a deck so I don't get smashed. <laughs> 15. You're fine. She looks down and kind of kicks you, like, with her foot and, like, kicks and pushes you to hopefully that you, like, get away from her a little bit. Yeah. She snaps her fingers and a couple people start walking up and they're reaching down to grab your ankles. What do you guys do? Um, <coughs> well, while this is happening, um, do I see she, have, she has a key on her? Roll me a perception check. Uh, that is a... All right, minus one, eight. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, your buddy just fell, and there's a lot going on. All of you guys fighting, roll me perception checks as people are starting to break up this situation nope. that you're in. Ooh. Seven. <laughs> nope. Wow. I see nothing. Nice. 18. Okay. Five. Eighteen. Two. Oh. No, sorry. <laughs> you do sorry, look four. up, and you see your friend drops. <sighs> and people are walking up, official-looking people. Leaning down to grab them. So as soon as they're starting to, to lean down to grab, I'll say to her, if they take away that body, I'm going to tell everyone in here about you and Zeke. She mm. drops down eye to eye. And goes, what are you talking about? What, what do you know? I, I know everything that's been going on between the two of you. How do you know that? What proof do you have? I start listing things in the letters. But don't actually show the letters, just listing things like this. I know we know this, we know this, we know this. Uh, roll me persuasion. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to add, I'm going to yes dime. and that moment. Uh huh. I'm uh -huh. going to yes and the moment because there's two of us and uh -huh. we're going to double it up. And I tried hard, but <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, I advantage. got a 16. Oh, 16. That's advantage. Okay. Nice. As the two of you are yeah, just like, like uh, yeah, ducked uh, down. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> the two of you are ducked down, and like she's like, what are you talking about? She grabs your... your Kissy uh, face, we've seen the kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Kissy face, what do you know about... That's uh, right. What do you want? Me. What do you want? She's still grabbing onto you. We she like lifts you off yeah, your feet a little bit. We want your key, and we want in there. And that's all we need. You see our friends over there? She looks over. <laughs> 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 Do I notice Stop. her? <laughs> yeah. I wave. <laughs> <laughs> the kobold just like... <laughs> 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 Jumping off onto someone. I don't want any trouble. Then what do, do you want? Do yourself a favor. Hand over the key and look away. Leave our friend. We'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> and your, your buddy is on... And she looks up and she drops you and is like... I've got my eye on you. And she gets up. She sees the two people walking up. She's like, no, no, no. And she, wa she, hand she takes out of her pocket a key and kind of does this back thing. And I, I take it? Yeah, and she walks forward and grabs the other two and is like pointing over in your guys' direction um, to try to get we them. We immediately go in. Click, click. Yep. Click, uh, click. Uh, as we're doing that, um, I poke. Get names out of people like this. Get time done and get, get them over here to, to get... Roll me See a death it. save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. The dice have not been with me. A 12. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. I, I actually saw him go down. Yeah. I, I'm I going to try and sweep my shield to get the, I'm assuming, smaller combatants off of me and plod over there and heal. That's really cute because I see you doing it like. <laughs> 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 uh, you plod over, you heal. Uh, both key. I hand you one key. I take one key. One Two on three or on wait one uh, when, uh, one two, three. Can we do a three? Oh no! no. <laughs> you hear thunk, 
but you only hear it there as people are starting to get really rowdy and the guy on the throne is standing and looking up and he's just like, what's going on over there? At uh, us? Or no, in the combat. He's okay. in the combat, he? he's in the combat yeah. area. So here's the throne. Here you guys are. Um, and he's like standing up looking over at... May I charm person on him? Yes, you may. I would like to charm person. Uh, what's your DC? 12. 13 on the die. I would like to charm person. <laughs> <laughs> so you jump in front and are just like, what do you do? I am charming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a she three. absolutely is. May I bardically inspire her? <laughs> yes. That's a Take a bardic inspiration uh, on that. Three, that's a three on the die. And he yes. looks at you and is just like, you magnificent creature. <laughs> what are you? And he grabs your shoulder and squeezes. <gasps> You're made of both metal, metal and, and wood. wood. Yes. That's fantastic. And he picks your arm up. He goes, you would be a magnificent in a fight. I'm going to name you, what's your name? <laughs> Hog. Hog the Magnificent. I like it. Now, where's the battle? In the ring. We have a new contestant! And he walks you forward, and people are now distracted from you guys, and they're like, who? What? <laughs> and, um, yeah, they're all focused, so uh, they shake you off, and they're just like, oh. Mm. All right. Do it now. Do it now. No, uh, we're turning now. the wheel and getting in the door. Cool. You open the door. And in front of you is, it's a big room, a little too big for this. On the side is a bunch of like uh, security <coughs> boxes, but they all have little locks on them. And then right in the middle, the center of the room is a pillar. And then floating right above that is a little black book, a small novelette sized black book of leather. And it looks like it's a hundred page journal. There is. That's not going to be easy nope. to get. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll enter. We will make our way towards the black book. Do you leave the door open or close? I will take my trusty javelin yeah. and I will Prop jam it, it the other way, leaving a, a little break. So it's not wide open, but just enough to make sure we can push out. Cool. So if you look at it, you can't see it. I assume you're all in there. We're throwing you in. You're everybody's in the room. Oh, that means it's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Uh, you just grab gonna, it. Everyone's in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I say, I'll watch the door. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch the door. <laughs> Chris, how, much, how much healing did you give me? Enough. Oh. Enough. Okay, enough. Gave perfect. You enough. <laughs> well, I have an intelligence of one, so I run up and try to grab the book. I, can I make a deck save? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I had 12, and uh, that's a 15 with modifiers. Cool. What is your AC? 19. Oh, no. <laughs> you dumb dragon! <laughs> I'm the only one that believed you were a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> the might of Bahamut! And I just, like, dive over the pillar oh. and try to take it with me. You magnificent. There's that one light and, like, weird LED lights on, on the side mm -hmm. that are, like, gold, and then that one light that shines down. And as everybody turns to look at the book, the kobold just slow motion no. and does this like barrel roll and d rolls on the side. You now have a book. The LED lights turn red. Time to go. Yeah. Third floor, out the window. <laughs> I'm in the room. As soon as, as soon as I hear the alarm going on, I actually cast shatter on the middle of the ring to create an booming loud ah. ringing noise from the middle of the ring. Is that a save? Uh, it, yeah, it's a con 12 save. Okay, so you do that and everyone is screaming and in this room, well done. Um, everyone in the ring and right around the ring, including the guy and including Margaret, they're on their knees like, oh, oh. and what do you guys do? Um, as you have a moment. Head towards the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yes. I, I just pick you up, like football style. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm holding the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take off. Can anyone disguise the book in any way? Is there any sort of like 
I'm, Are there folds in my shell I that I can stick it under? Yeah, yeah. I cut open my bagpipes. Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes. And I put the black book in the bag then, so the bagpipes are under oh, my shoulders. This so is nice. the greatest thing that's ever happened to the group, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the bagpipes were horrible. I no, wait, actually wait. cry just a little. <laughs> I cry um, just a lot. <laughs> as we make our way into the living room area, you hear ruff, ruff, and dogs are barking, and it sounds like they're getting closer from outside. Awesome. I cast Create Bonfire. <laughs> Where? <laughs> On the front, like near the front door to oh. catch it ablaze. So if they have to, yeah, they're hellhounds. I don't, I don't know that though. <laughs> so I just fire and, and I'm like, ah. And then we leading us to go upstairs. Cool. So you guys, we are now in the chase phase of this heist. You guys run up the stairs. You see coming from one of the um, balconies, you've got two guards coming in and they're closing in as you're running up. You see from the kitchen, two dogs are running in, and they seem to have your scent as you guys are sweating because you're running. So we're going to go in a round like this, and we're just going to start calling out who, uh, what you guys do. I, when we get to me, I'll be the bad guys, and we'll get back to you guys. All right. So uh, as we run by, like, through a doorway or a structure like that, I would like to punch the structure, but I'll use Divine Smite to make it do a bunch of extra radiant damage to try to collapse it so that there's debris behind us. Man, when you do that to marble, oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so bad. Roll me a d20, roll to attack. Okay. Don't roll a one. Cool, uh, 18 on the die. Fantastic. You do that, but you're first. So it starts crumbling down. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> too hard, too hard. <laughs> uh, everybody make me a deck save. As you are moving forward. Is that a one? It's not a one. <laughs> it's not good, though. Does it okay. look like that, too? Four. Nice. What'd you get? 16. Okay, you, you saved. You did not. I did not. You did not. 21. A five. 17. Did not. Okay, if you did not save... You take three points of marble falling damage, <laughs> but you all make it right across that threshold. Okay, next up. You're now in the middle of the stairs. Um, I, it, it takes a lot of concentration to get up those stairs for me. <laughs> Not so good, but if anyone wants a lift, mm -hmm. oh. feel free. Anyone jumping on? No? I will. The okay. The warlord <laughs> on your back. Now it's challenging, <laughs> I, but I've got this. <laughs> and you <laughs> run <laughs> forward <laughs> as the war forge is posing upon your back. What do you uh, who's closer, the dogs or the guards closing in on us? The guards. The guards. I wave at them friendly light <laughs> and cast charm person or okay. calm emotions. Calm emotions. Wisdom save? Uh, charisma, charisma 12. It's a five on the die. Oh. So they're like... You stop at the balcony and they're like, hey. <laughs> they need help downstairs. I heard a loud noise and heard some screaming. Oh, thanks, thanks. As these large, uh, burly looking people with very sharp weapons go running by you. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, I'll go into a rage and, and right past the marble, I'll be a blockade. So I'll go full defensive and try to stop these, w these dogs from getting everyone else. Awesome. You do that. You see them coming through, and they... Sing of me in song! <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Interpretive dance. Yeah, there you go. So they go to jump over the, the mound, and uh, one of them makes it over, and that one comes at you, teeth bared, and jumps right over you, because you are real short. I'm tiny. And <laughs> smacks his head right into the wall. Arr! and stumbles down and is part of the debris. Uh, the two people that were up top, they are running downstairs, and uh, they jump over the debris, and they are faced with other people who are like, what are you talking about? Those are the guys. They all turn, and they're like, oh, man. And now it is your turn. As I am riding upon this magnificent steed. You guys are up at the top of the, of the stairs. Perfect. I reach behind me and I cast Entangle upon the stairs, so anyone coming up, will, it would be difficult terrain and they must make a strength saving throw. <gasps> very nice, very nice. Uh, I'm going to use my cunning action to take all my rations and throw them towards the hellhounds. <gasps> oh, rad. <laughs> I keep moving. Nice. 
oh my god, they, all the hounds are just, you see them as you guys are running up to the third floor. You see them uh, all piled up and their masters are like, what the heck is going on? Okay. Uh, so as uh, the other guards like come at us and whatnot, I'm going to grab uh, the bagpipes um, and I'm basically going to go the other direction and be like, L- I have it, look at me, look at me, I've got it, follow me, and I'm going to run, and as everyone starts to turn and follow me, I misty step back to the group. <gasps> mm. nice. That nice. is so cool. So, so you do that. They <laughs> climb over, they're, they're trying to get, uh, are you going to stay on the stairs, or are you going to go up? Well, I've, I've made a mistake. <laughs> 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 but I'm all right with it, they will <laughs> sing of me in song. <laughs> That's what our last far uh, Okay, said. Um, one of them makes it past and he looks at you. And it's like I'm in a rage, so we go to battle. All right, so go to hit. We're going to just do this real quick. Okay, copy that. I hit. Oh, yeah, so does it. Okay. Do it again. Oh, both? Yeah. What'd you get? I got a... Um, I got a nine. I got an 18. <laughs> nice. So you, what do you do to push this guy down? Um, uh, well, he's got, he's jumped over. There's a bunch of marble right behind him. So I clearly, being a little, a, a, a tiny savage woman, <laughs> completely destroy his ankles. <laughs> oh, oh, going <laughs> for his ankles so that he, so that he's, uh, <laughs> adds to the pile. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Screams, and you guys make it to the top floor. Uh, you join them if you want, or you can just go for the if, Well, the entangle seems to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> so I, I go you to were down there. I go, I go to get in there, and then I realize there's an entangle spell, and I'll try to ex- I'll try to get out another way. Okay. So or uh, you know what? I lied. I'm gonna jump on the railing and see if I can scurry up the railing. Aha, there you go. Like way you more dramatic. Up. I like it for the, you know we're yeah. screaming, don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you make your way up. Roll a d20. Don't roll a one. Seventeen. Perfect. You make it up. You bounce right in front of everybody. Boom, you guys are up on the third floor. And what do you do? What was the plan? I forgot. Uh, we'll, we'll go straight towards the lavender room. Mm-hmm. You go towards the lavender room. It still smells really nice. Mm-hmm. And I throw open the window, and I jump in the pool. Go! Yes. Jump. Yeah, yes. Yeah. How big jump. is the window? It's big enough for you. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Flying that was the book. Leap. That was the book. I'll wait, grab I'm the so book before you go. <laughs> Flying in, in leap. The, mm-hmm. uh, well, it, bef- as you do it, I jump out. And then right before I hit the pool, I misty step to oh. the dry land. Mm-hmm. Did Stop. you grab the book? No. If he's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like before you, like you go to grab it, I'm like, I got it. Plan. I'm the brains. And then I, <laughs> I never yeah. believed that, but now <laughs> I can do it. Okay. So we're going to end this episode. And we went a little long. We're going to end it. We're going to start uh, because you jumped in and misty stepped. We'll go around this way. So narrate how you guys get away through the jump and run. So you jumped, you misty stepped. You misty stepped, st- and then as I'm going, I'm going to hit um, the, one of the trees with Booming Blade to try and like, shock it to maybe go down or c- drop some coconuts or something on anyone who pers- persuade, pers- pursues us nice. as I continue out uh, back towards the uh, shrubbery to get out. Awesome. I will cannonball into the pool, <laughs> get out, grab some of that barbecue chicken with my cunning action, <laughs> and then dash and just move in the other direction, going in a different direction. Nice. I will ride the steed out the window, <laughs> and uh, whatever happens to her happens to me. Cool. There's <laughs> half as much water in now. I will take my javelin and secure the door, and then go and do a flip off, land in the water, and backstroke. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I plod until I get to the balcony, and then I try and jump and use my claws to strip my way down the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and then I continue plodding through the garden <laughs> and go through the hedge. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I do a flying leap, one of those epic slow motion with, with Pog on my back and that under, underneath shot. Uh, and I land in the water, splashing and boom, 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 gallop, full gallop out. Leap back out of the water and sprint toward home with Pog. Cool. Uh, I fall through the window, and it looks like I'm going to hit the pavement and not the pool. 
Uh, and all of a sudden, a shining light comes over me, and I say, I am worthy! Yeah! And wings start to sprout from my back. Yes! But it's too shallow a drop, and I hit the ground, and my body breaks, half transformed between dragon and kobold, and I die on the pavement. Oh! And I say, remember, toxic masculinity is bad. <laughs> my dying breath. Yes. I grab his body for resurrection. <laughs> yeah. There's no way that that tiny kobold is going down like that. And you guys all have one book of Ever Story, or whatever I called it. Um, is and it worth a million gold pieces? Or one <laughs> million story. <laughs> or one million gold pieces of story. So thank you guys thank you. for being Yay. here and playing Yay. Silly Heist. Oh, yeah. Never in doubt. Um, <laughs> please very quickly tell us uh, where people can find you on the internet. Uh, I'm at James Intercastle on Twitter and worldbuilderblog.com and Don't Split the Podcast Network. I am uh, Dream Wisp on Twitter. I am on uh, Beyond Heroes. Uh, and I am... Here, next. <laughs> Th there, next. DMing. Oh, cool. uh, I'm the, T-H-E-E, -E, Dr. B on Twitter, uh, but I'm also with Clinical Role uh, Streaming and uh, take this.org nonprofit. Uh, my name is Matthew Lillard. I'm Matthew Lillard on Twitter, and you can find me at Beetle and Grimms. I'm mm -hmm. one of the founders of that. I am Hope Lavelle. You can find me on Twitter at Real Hope Lavelle, which is real like the movies, R E E L. And also on D and D Beyonds, uh, D and D Beyonds Beyond Heroes, that streams on Wednesdays. I'm Nerdarchist Dave from Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds, and Nerdarchy on YouTube, uh, our website Nerdarchy.com, and all the places. It's just Nerdarchy. Uh, I'm Dustin Fletcher. You can find me at Flash Fletch. I'm one of the co-DMs of D4. Um, we are at D4 D and D RPG on the Twitters, and uh, we will be here tomorrow uh, at three o'clock Central Time, uh, streaming uh, from here. Awesome. As always, I'm Satine Phoenix at Satine Phoenix on all the things Dungeon Master of Sirens and the Story Guide for the Storyteller's Guide on the Gilding Light. YouTube and all of those things. We will see you guys again. We, a bunch of us, have to go to a panel. Jennifer Kretschmer is up next, Dungeon Mastering, and we will see you all later. Happy Game Hall! Happy Game Hall!